have Booth, are you ready? Yes. All right. Stage left, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, for the last time, this is Sorry Wrong Number from Troop 6482.
been dialing Murray Hill now for the last three quarters of an hour. And the line is always busy. But I don't see how it could be busy that long. Will you try Murray Hill 40098 for me? Murray Hill 40098? One moment, madam. I don't see how it could be busy for all this time. It's my husband's office. He's working late tonight. I'm all alone here at the house, and my health is very poor. And I've been feeling so nervous all day. Ring Murray Hill for 0098. Hello? Ha Hello? Hello? Hello, is Mr. Stevens Hello? in Hello? there? Hello, George. Yes, sir. Hello? We are first from our client. He says the coast is clear for tonight. Yes, sir. Where are you now? In a phone booth. Okay, you know the address. At 11 o'clock, the private patrolman goes around to the bar on 2nd Avenue for a beer. Be sure that all the lights downstairs are out. There should be only one light visible from the street. At 11.15, a subway train crosses the bridge and makes a noise in case her windows open and she should scream. Hello? Who is this, please? Okay, I understand. Make it quick, as little blood as possible. Our client does not wish for her to suffer long. Is a knife okay, sir? Yes, a knife will be okay. And remember, take all the rings and bracelets and jewelry from her drawer. Our client wishes for this to look like a simple robbery. Okay, I understand. Well, can you get me that call? Can you track down those men? 
Well, that depends, ma'am. Depends on what? It depends on if the call is still going on or not. If it's a live call, we can trace it using our equipment. If it's been disconnected, we can't. Dis disconnected? If the two parties have stopped talking to each other. Oh, well, they must have stopped talking to each other by now. That was at least five minutes ago. And they didn't sound like the type to make a long call. Well, I can try tracing it for you. Now, what is your name, madam? Mrs. Stevenson. Mrs. Albert Smythe Stevenson. But listen. And your telephone number? Plus a 42295. But if you go on wasting time... And what is your reason time, for wanting this call traced? For heaven's sakes, isn't it obvious? Die over here, two men. They're murderers. They're going to kill this woman. It's a matter for the police. Have you told the police? No. How could I? So you're making this check into a private call purely as a private individual? Yes, but meanwhile... Well, Mrs. Stevenson, I seriously doubt we can make this check for you just on your say-so as a private individual. We'd have to have something more official. Heaven's sakes! Are you telling me I can't make a, a check about a murder without getting caught in all this red tape? Why, it's perfectly idiotic. All right, then. I will call the police. Sarge, and I'll, uh, I'll bring you up. French curlers, we ran out of jelly donuts. Okay, Sarge? French curlers? Uh, I got ulcers. Uh, make an apple pie. Police department, precinct 43. Duffy speaking. We don't have any apple pie Hello? either, Sarge. Oh, this is Mrs. Stevenson, Mrs. Albert Smythe Stevenson of Plus 42295 North Sutton Street. And I am here making this call to tell you about a murder. Eh? Well, the murder hasn't been committed yet. I, I just overheard plans over the telephone, over a wrong number the operator gave me. I've been trying to track down the call myself, but everyone is so stupid, and I guess in the end you're the only people who can do anything. Yes, ma'am. It was a perfectly definite murder. I heard their plans distinctly. Two men were going to kill this woman tonight at 11.15. She lived in a house near a bridge. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there was a private patrolman as well. He was going to go around for a beer on 2nd Avenue, and, um, oh, there was some kind of third man, a, a client who was paying to have this poor woman murdered. They were going to take her things, her bracelets, and use a knife on it unnerved me dreadfully. Yes, ma'am, I see. And, uh, when was all this, ma'am? Um, about seven minutes ago. Oh, so you do understand you can do something. Uh, what is your name, ma'am? Uh, Mrs. Stevenson, Mrs. Albert Stevenson. And your address? Uh, 53 North Sutton Place. Plaza 42295. That's near a bridge. The Queensboro Bridge, and... You know, we also have a private patrolman and 2nd Avenue. And what was that number you were calling? Oh, uh, Murray Hill 40098. But that wasn't the number I ever heard of. Murray Hill is my husband's office. He's working late tonight, and I was trying to reach him to ask him to come home. I'm an invalid, and it's the maze night off, and I hate to be alone. Well, Mrs. So Stevenson, we'll look into it. And we'll see if we can check it with the telephone company. But the telephone company said they can't retrace calls if they've already been disconnected. I've already taken care of that. Oh, yes? Personally, I think you ought to do something far more immediate and drastic than just check the call. What good does checking the call do if they've already stopped talking? By the time you've cracked it down, they've already committed the murder. Well, don't worry, lady. We'll take care of it. I say the whole thing calls for a search. A complete and thorough search of the entire city. I'm not too far away from 2nd Avenue, and I live near a bridge myself, and 
I know you. I feel a lot better if you sent a radio car to this neighborhood at once. And uh, what makes you think that this murder is going to be committed in your neighborhood? I don't know. It's all a horrible coincidence, really. The private patrolman, Second Avenue, the bridge. Second Avenue is a very long street, miss. And do you happen to know how many bridges there are in the city of New York alone? Not to mention Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, and the Bronx. And how do you know there isn't some little house out in Staten Island? on some little Second Avenue that you've never heard of. How do you know they were even talking about New York at all? Oh, but I heard it on the New York dialing system. How do you know it wasn't a long distance call you ever heard? Telephones are funny things. Uh, look, lady, look at it this way. Suppose you've never broken in on this call. Suppose you had gotten your husband the way you always do. Would this murder have made any difference to you then? I... I guess not, but it's so inhumane, so cold-blooded. Look, lady, a lot of murders are committed in this city every day. And if we could do something to stop it, we would. But a clue of this kind is so vague that it isn't much more use to us than no clue at all. I guess so, but, but maybe... Unless, of course, you have some reason for believing that this call is phony, and that someone may be planning to murder you... Me? No, oh, no, I hardly think so. I mean, why should anybody? I'm alone all day and night. I see nobody except my maid, Eloise. She's a big 200-pounder. She's too lazy to bring up my breakfast tray. And the only other man I see is my husband, Albert. He's crazy about me, adores me, waits on me, hand and foot. He scarcely left my side since I took sick 12 years ago. Well, then there's nothing for you to worry about, is there? And now, if you'll just leave the rest of this to us. But what will you do? It's so late, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Don't worry, lady. We'll take care of it. So will you send out squads? Then send out radio cars and tell them to and be warned them to watch out in suspicious, suspicious neighborhoods like mine? Lady, I said we'll take care of it. Just now, I've got a couple of other matters here at my desk that require my immediate no! attention. automatic, madam. 
if someone is trying to dial your number, there is no way to check whether the call is coming through the system or not, unless the person who is trying to reach you complains to his particular operator. Oh, stupid, complicated. And meanwhile, I've got to suffer in my bed every single time that phone rings. The fault of stupid, complicated. Oh, what's the use? Hello, is this Plaza 42295? Yes, this is Plaza 42295. I have a telegram here from Miss Albert Stevenson. Is anyone there to receive this message? I am Mrs. Stevenson. The telegram reads as follows. Miss Albert Stevenson, 53 North Sutton Place, New York, New York. Darling, terribly sorry. Try to reach you for the past hour, but line busy. Heading off to Boston tonight on urgent business. Be back tomorrow morning. Keep happy. Love, signed out. Oh, no! That is all, madam. Do you wish to deliver a copy of this message? No. No, thank you. Thank you, madam. Good night. Good night. This is information. Henchley Hospital. Henchley Hospital. Do you have the address, madam? No, but it's somewhere in the 70s, though. It's, some, it's a private, exclusive hospital that I got my appendix out taken out, where I got my appendix taken out two years ago. Henchley, H-E-N-C. One moment, please. Please, hurry and gosh, what is the time? I do not know, madam. You may have found out the time by dialing Meriden 71212. No, couldn't you just- The number for Henchley Hospital. Hospital is Butterfield 7012.
stop the telephone from the downstairs extension. Well, I didn't hear anything. Now, about this nurse... But I did. There's someone in this house. Someone downstairs in the kitchen. And they're listening to me now! They're... Sorry, wrong number. 